right okay so hi i guess you could say this is like my first video well i say video it's like well access whatever i don't really care but you could say it's like my first well yeah video with my real accent so yeah <laughs> this will be weird yet interesting because i most of you used to be talking american accent which kind of goes like you know hey guys this is alex i lost my channel and all that stuff but no today it's just gonna be me <sighs> and my real accent so by the title and thumbnail of this video i am gonna be giving you guys a q a because what better way to get to know me than a Q and A? Because let's be real, I'm not sure you're about, but you know what I mean. So let's do a Q and A for fun, obviously, and also so you can get to know me. Because why not? <laughs> now these questions will be taken out of questions I've been asked like before and stuff, but not as many people would know the answer to them, so I'm just gonna give it to you. So, <laughs> um. This one thing I want to clear up is like, for those people who haven't really been like, you know, on my channel as frequently, people still ask me like, what is your real name? Is it Alex or is it Maria? Now, uh, let me break that down for you. So, basically, Alex was the name that was given to me because I didn't like my birth name. But now it's all about like me kind of getting used to my birth name and trying to like, like it, kind of. Because I didn't really like it before. And also, it's kind of like something I thought I would share with you guys because, you know, Alex isn't, like, necessarily necessarily my, like, legal name. But I still get called it <laughs> and such by people in my family. But, like, I've told them, like, when I changed my channel name, that I wanted to just start, like, getting used to, like, Maria and using it more. Because I barely use it since I found out the real meaning for it. Well, meaning for it? Well story behind my name of how it was named right that kind of thing so yeah <laughs> now moving on to question number two so this is like probably the most like common question i think i've ever gotten is like what's your favorite video you've ever made this question is like so common but i feel like when i did my first q a and when i first hit like 100 subscribers i couldn't really answer it because i'd only done so many um not so many but you know what i mean just done very little videos but um yeah but i can finally answer it now like this one's kind of hard oh excuse me this is like kind of hard to answer really because there's so many i've done <laughs> um and i have a few favorites like my favorite ones to like make <laughs> um will probably be the if i can find it oh it's a the Eddie ex listener, you guys get into an argument because you wanted to quit smoking. That was fun. Dramatic, but fun. Um, you know, I really enjoyed doing, like, The Listener Gets Cursed by Wagner, like, the little mini series I did. It was, like, it's actually unfinished, but I will finish that if you want me to. Um, the, the wedding series is another one, but the actual, like, wedding video, I think, was more my favourite because, you know actual wedding part i love it <laughs> or like oh my god the steve harrington and access now you guys go to prom together and he teaches you how to dance that's cute that's really cute and then overall i have to say my series because it's just so fun to do i guess i mess around with it and it's great i just love it so yeah so i say those plus full of the freak because they are just but yeah, that was to answer that question because I just get asked it quite a lot and I just pretty much like pull on so many because I just can't choose one. Now, let's move on into more kind of like common questions I feel like. You would normally just ask someone, like anyone. So things like favourite colour, favourite food, basically favourites and such like that. So my favourite colour to start with is purple. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Um, also my mum's favorite colour is purple and also the necklace I wear like all the time it has like purple gemstone in it so yeah <laughs> um, my favourite food I should know what my favourite food is there's so many I think I've got to be like my pasta because like 
like the pasta I make. I just love it. It's so good. Like I could eat that every day. It's just I made it when I was about twelve, turning thirteen. That's the first time I ever made it because like it was like an assessment we had. Um, so I was about like in actually it might have been like eleven or twelve. I actually can't remember because it was either year seven or year eight, which is like grades in America, you know what I mean? And we had we were doing an assessment where we were making pasta and like with no kind of like help or whatever, we just had to wing it and I did so well. That's so good. And my pasta was actually chef's kiss, so I love making pasta. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so moving on to other favourites, like my favourite movie. That's a hard one. That's a really hard one. I've seen so many movies. I just love all of them. But if I look like a favourite, it's like... I want to say, like, Murder Mystery. It's just so hilarious. But I've also been obsessing over, like, Fear Street recently a lot. Like, you know, Fear Street, the horror movies. Like... 1994, 1978, and 1666. They're just so good. I love them. And because I love Sadie so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are pretty much are my favourites at the moment. But if I had to choose anyone else, any, uh, any other movies, I have no clue because, you know, I've actually not seen that many movies. To be honest, like, I haven't seen any classics like The Lion King or like. <laughs> Um, Hate Me, but I've never seen Back to the Future. I haven't seen Star Wars. I've never fucking seen, like, Lord of the Rings, like, Game of Thrones. They're just so common movies. I feel like I've just never seen them. I watched 10 minutes of one Star Wars movie and then got instantly bored. So I'm so sorry if I offended you. If you like Star Wars. But, yeah. <laughs> Moving on to another favorite, which is, like, my favorite book. Honestly, I think I've only ever read two book series in my life. So it's either going to be the Harry Potter books or the Dork Diary series. I was obsessed with Dork Diaries when I was like in primary school because they were just so good and I remember them. I still have those books and they were just so good. <laughs> I'm a child at heart, okay? Nikki Maxwell was my rock. She was my favourite <laughs> fictional book character. She was just so iconic. <laughs> but yeah. Harry Potter and, like, Dog Diaries are my top two favourites of all time. <laughs> but, yeah. But I don't really like, read much anymore for some reason. I like writing. That's what I like to do. But, yeah. <laughs> Which also reminds me of a question. People always ask me, what are your hobbies other than making videos? Like, what do I do outside of YouTube? Actually quite fun, to be honest. My life's quite boring. Joking. Um... I don't really know. What do I do? <laughs> um, I watch movies. I do movie marathons with my siblings sometimes. Um, I babysit. Um, what's my day? <laughs> Going places. Like, for example, every Sunday, we always leave the house. We're never in on Sundays for some reason. Um... I play games. I also play board games. <laughs> um, it's a big hobby, but I clean my room a lot. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it, but I do like just get in the habit of like cleaning stuff up. And then once I start cleaning, I just can't stop. Because I remember like um, in my old house, I used to always just clean the kitchen for no apparent reason. And whenever it's like clean, I'd be like, okay, next room. I'm just so full of energy, I just want to clean everything so yeah <laughs> just clean all the rooms um i draw sometimes but not really anymore i'm more of just like get me a massive color book or color it in like i want to color um saying so, yeah, i write that's something i do because i like writing like little mini stories it's like my favorite thing to do in school like when i was in primary because we used to just write a lot of stories back then yeah <laughs> so Yay, but I don't have much time to do anything else really because, well next year really, because I'll be going to college. So, yeah, I've got a lot of college to do next year. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, <clears throat> I 
a question that I sometimes will get asked is like, what's my biggest fear? Now I think I've answered this in a video. <laughs> it's actually the edX um a metaphobic listener. Is it a metaphobic or metaphobia? I think it's a metaphobia, isn't it? It's a metaphobia. Yes, metaphobic. So I am actually a metaphobic because my biggest fear in life is actually just throwing up. I hate it. It is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world for me. I just absolutely hate it. It is not for me. <laughs> I mean, no one really likes it, but I tell you, when I like feel the need to throw up, I just start hyperventilating and I have like a full blown anxiety attack. Like, I'm so paranoid and whenever I feel so nauseous, I just keep like the like a bowl in my room because when i don't have the bar i normally like move my bin move close to my bed <laughs> so i just lean over and just but if i have to but honestly it's so weird it's so bad like my fear of sick is genuinely really concerning because i literally can't ever be sick on my own that's so babyish but i just can't ever do it like there needs to be someone with me preferably my mother because there's no way i can do it without her like literally if i'm in school or like if i'm anywhere like that isn't home i will cry if my mom's not there just oh bull i go just hate it <laughs> but anyway yeah that's my biggest fear also i have like oh a weird phobia of like this is weird but, like crumbs i always like have this weird thing about crumbs in the crack that sounds so weird but basically crumbs in the crack is like you know when you sit down like on like a sofa or a couch or whatever and you know like the crack in between like the two kind of like it's a two seat a sofa or a couch or whatever and then the crack between the two seats they're just crumbs oh mm -mm. that actually makes me heave it just makes me heave so bad i hate it Ugh, it's genuine shivers i hate it i really don't like it it uh i would vomit if i'm just wearing like any bits of like uh, clumps of hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I just can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, next question. My favorite TV show. Now I have so many, so many. I'm currently watching um, Shameless. I'm watching two shows, like Shameless and the Originals. Shameless is so good like it is so good i need to start making like shameless audios like carl gallagher white boy carl yes fiona maybe i love fiona but i can never do her south side accent accent it's kind of it's an accent isn't it yeah i just like don't think i could ever do fiona gallagher i don't think i could ever, like pull that off maybe that's practicing i could <laughs> who knows um the vampire diaries is another one i'm watching a lot of which is also like the originals you know um and obviously Stranger Things, so I can't leave that out. Um, I love Friends. I love Lucifer. <sighs> There's just so fucking many. Um, I think that's like it of like what I can think of right now. But more come to me, I'll just let you know. <laughs> um, so yeah. Now the one thing I just like for some reason get asked a lot is like in my life, people always ask me, "Do you have a boyfriend?" I'm like, "No, I don't." <laughs> Truth be told, I do not have a boyfriend. I do have a girlfriend though. I love her to pieces. She is the best. My favourite person in the whole world. I love her so much. I just love her. She's my favourite person ever. But, yeah. <laughs> I would die for her. I would die. <laughs> yeah. And it's really exciting because she's coming to see me. <gasps> like in january of next year in virtual and i'm so excited <laughs> she's coming to see me and oh my god i'm gonna scream but yeah <laughs> so that's my kind of like relationship status also relating to kind of like relationship status but like sexuality my sexuality is i'm pansexual right <laughs> um which is basically i know people can like oh you just you're attracted to pans that joke is so dead about like pansexuals but no it's all about like personality i couldn't give a flying fuck we look like you could literally have like a rubbish bag on your head and you'll still look beautiful in my eyes if you have a good personality 
but if you're a shitty person then no i don't like you but looks don't matter in my book they don't it's just so stupid how people always like go for looks and like are you fucking serious like it's not bubbles on the outside it's on the inside thank you so people that go for looks what the fuck's wrong with you like you just want to show off to your friends you've got someone fit like fuck off excuse my slang but you know yeah fit pretty much just means hot if you didn't know that yeah so <laughs> that's what it is yeah it's just kind of ridiculous how people think that so, yeah <laughs> um but moving on but i think that's it though isn't it yeah I thought that's it oh sure well when we got to the end thank the lord what was like the lord but yeah this has been fun this was fun i liked it entertaining but yeah <laughs> if you guys want me to do um technically this is like the third time the second time doing a q a so but you know it's the first one's been uploaded and not deleted so if you want me to do part two definitely let me know because i will do it for you <laughs> so yeah if you have any questions let me know and i'll answer them in my next q a if i do one so yeah for those of you who were curious and actually had asked these questions before, thank you. I love you. You're great. So I'll see you in my next video, which will be Jason Carver, Access and I'm so excited to upload that. Okay, right, I'll see you guys later.